Hi everyone, Ms. Capobianco here. By now you should have already cut out your figure to be using as a template. If you didn't do this step, please do it now. You're going to be cutting out the inside shape here where her arm is, as well as this shape over here where the feet are. You're going to be writing your name, class, and table color on the back of your figure because we're going to be using these for more than one project. When you're ready for this next step, you're going to be taking three sheets of paper and tracing your person onto the papers that I gave you. Okay, so I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to now trace my figure. I'm going to hold this down nice and carefully. Okay. You don't want this to move because if it does move, then it's not going to be accurate. <coughs> After you have your figure traced out, you're going to take a look at the examples of dress styles packet. These are some very common dress styles. You're going to choose three different ones to focus on for your dress. Now, even if you're coming up with your own design, these are basically the standards that you start from. That doesn't mean that you can't change them slightly or combine two different ideas, like having ruffles in a mermaid dress or having a belt on a ball gown dress or having a different style uh, cut in the front part here. Um, again, you're going to be making your own creative style choices, but these are general ones to follow. So you're going to be choosing one for the first one. I recommend following along for the first one because this one's pretty simple. I'm going to be doing a ball gown style dress. <coughs> and if you look at this dress here, it kind of looks like a triangle shape. So where her waist is, I'm going to be drawing lines that come out like this to create that triangle shape. So I'm going to start over here near where her wrist is, and my line is going to come out and down. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to continue without drawing on the arm out and down. <coughs> if I look carefully at the bottom of the dress, it's not all even, so I'm going to do the same down here and just do kind of like a pattern that goes back and forth like that. Okay. I'm also going to be adding the top part here, so it's going to come down like this. Again, you can choose to do a swoop, or you could choose to do something like this. It's your call. You don't have to copy this part exactly. Um, I am going to give her long sleeves, though, so there's going to be a semi-transparent or semi-sheer uh, long sleeve shell that's going to be underneath the dress so that it is kosher. Um, yes, because this is... Um, you know, one of the school rules, you should plan on having either three-quarter sleeves or long sleeves for your female figures when you're doing the dresses. <coughs> okay, our next step is going to be to erase this part here because we don't need it anymore. When you're finished erasing, you're going to be thinking about how you're going to add some design details or elements into your dress. Okay, This was my example. I added some ruffles on the top. I added um, kind of a transition from like blues to purples with some dark blue uh, patterns inside to make it look kind of like a flower. I added a belt and I also added some like purpley kind of button designs going up here. 
with semi-transparent sleeves as a shell. You're able to do whatever kind of design elements you'd like for your dress. It does not have to be the same as mine. So please consider how you want to do your design elements. You could do floral patterns, you could do vines, you could do lines, you could do ruffles, you could do tall. It's up to you what kind of design elements you want to convey in your dress. For this one, I am going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to be using a warm color scheme plus black. In my other design, I used a cool color scheme using just blues and purples. You need to choose at least two colors for your color scheme for your dress. You can choose up to three plus black or plus white. <clears throat> okay, so the first step is I'm going to add some kind of designs to the dress. So I'm going to do this one similarly to my other one just to show you how I did it. I'm going to be drawing a line going up and then a line going back down. And I'm just going to repeat this with some of the shapes going up higher and maybe some of them going lower. So towards the middle it's going to be higher. And over here I'm going to get lower again. <coughs> In my first example, the shoes were showing. In this one, they are not. This is floor length. I'm going to add a simple belt. This one, I'm going to add a V shape right here where the waist is. And I'm going to add an oval shape and little circles. <clears throat> I'm also going to add, actually, yeah, I'm actually not, maybe I'll add a choker to the neck, I'm not sure. Okay. So now I'm going to be talking about shading using the colored pencils before we begin coloring. 